Have you ever thought, there is more to life than this daily grind? People are suffering all over the world. It's a question that resonates with many mothers who find themselves caught in the whirlwind of responsibilities and expectations. Balancing work and family life, keeping the home a sanctuary of peace amidst the chaos of daily living and pursuing personal growth and fulfillment, all these can seem like a Herculean task. Every day is a juggling act, a delicate dance between duty and desire. The quest to provide for the family while also nurturing personal dreams and aspirations. Remembering to care for oneself can be a struggle. The pressure to maintain a harmonious home, even when life throws its curveballs, can be overwhelming. And how much do you teach your children about the evils of the world? Indeed, motherhood is a journey filled with trials. But what if we told you there's a beacon of hope even in the toughest of times, a light at the end of the tunnel? Let's delve into the scripture, Matthew 16, 14 through 19, a story that holds a powerful message for mothers. This passage begins when Jesus asks his disciples, who do people say the son of man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. Consider the parallels between this and the life of a mother. Mothers often face questions about their identity, about who they are beyond their roles as caregivers. Like the disciples, they may hear varied answers, some flattering, some not. Yet, it's not the perception of others that defines them. It's their faith, their resilience, and their unwavering love for their children that truly shapes their identity. Jesus then asked Peter, but what about you? Who do you say I am? Peter responds with conviction. You are the Messiah, the son of the living God. This exchange is a testament to the power of faith and belief. Mothers too must hold steadfast to their beliefs, especially during challenging times. They must have faith in their abilities to nurture, to teach and to love. Just as Peter recognized Jesus as the Messiah, mothers must recognize their own strength and the profound impact they have on their children's lives. Jesus then says to Peter, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. This divine revelation parallels the inner wisdom that mothers often experience. The intuition that guides them, the instinct that protects their children. These are not learned, but are revealed through the profound bond between mother and child. And finally, Jesus tells Peter, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This passage holds a powerful message for mothers. They are given the keys to shape the future of their children, to guide them towards a path of righteousness and love. They have the power to bind their children with values of empathy, kindness, and respect. And they have the freedom to loose any chains of doubt, fear, or insecurity that may hold their children back. The story of Matthew 16, 14, 19 is not just a tale of faith and revelation, it's an allegory for the journey of motherhood. It reminds mothers of their inherent strength, their divine wisdom, and their transformative power. It encourages us to persevere through the trials and tribulations, to hold on to hope even in the face of darkness, and to continue to do good works for the welfare of our children. Just as Peter was given the keys to the kingdom of heaven, so too are mothers given the keys to shape the future of their children. But what does it mean to hold the keys, and how can it help us? Consider for a moment the metaphor of keys. Keys open doors, they unlock possibilities, and they provide access to places otherwise inaccessible. Now imagine the keys in the hands of mothers. These keys are not made of metal but of faith, hope, and love. These are the keys that can unlock a peaceful life, irrespective of the struggles one faces. Faith is the first key. It's the belief that things will get better, that there is a plan for each one of us. It's the unwavering trust that no matter how stormy the seas get, the sun will shine again. For mothers, faith is the foundation upon which they build their lives and the lives of their children. It's the inner strength that keeps them going, even when they're running on empty. Hope is the second key. It's the beacon of light that guides mothers through the darkest nights. It's the promise of a better tomorrow. The conviction that every struggle is just a stepping stone to something greater. Hope is what makes mothers fight for their children's future, even when the present seems bleak. 
And finally, love. The most powerful key of all. It's the force that drives every mother, the fuel behind every sacrifice they make. Love is what makes a house a home, what turns ordinary moments into beautiful memories. It's the key that opens the door to a peaceful life, no matter how chaotic the world outside may be. These keys, faith, hope, and love, they are the tools that mothers wield every day. They are the secret to perseverance, to overcoming any obstacle, to turning dreams into reality. They are the keys that unlock the true potential of a mother's heart and the power to shape the future for the better. Remember, the keys are already in your hands. It's how you use them that makes all the difference. As we near these final days as commanded by the Lord, look to the future of our kingdoms. Even when the darkness surrounds us, there is hope. Hope, that beautiful, intangible force that propels us forward even when the winds of adversity try to push us back. It's the light at the end of the tunnel, the silver lining in the cloud, the promise of a new dawn after the darkest night. And this hope, dear friends, is at the heart of Matthew 16, verses 14 through 19. This scripture is a testament to the power of faith and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. It's a reminder that no matter how tumultuous the storm, the sun always rises again, casting its warm golden light on a world made anew. Just as a mother's love for her child never wavers, neither does the love that our Creator has for us. This divine love is the source of our hope and the foundation of our dreams. It's the fuel that powers our journey towards a peaceful life, a loving home, a harmonious marriage. So, when the world seems too much, when the darkness threatens to swallow up the light, hold on to this hope. Remember the message of Matthew 16 and let it inspire you to keep moving forward. Because the path to our dreams may be steep and rocky, but it's a path worth taking. And even when the road seems too long, remember that every step you take, every good deed you perform is a testament to your strength and resilience. It's a testament to the power of hope the power of love, the power of faith. So let's keep striving, let's keep hoping, let's keep dreaming. Because our dreams are not just for us, they're for our children, for our families, for our communities. They're for a world that is kinder, gentler, more loving. Always pursue his glory in your life. Remember, even in the darkest nights, the stars still shine. So let's shine, dear friends, and let's make our world a little brighter, one good deed at a time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.